Cupcakes, my name is Rosie. This is my channel, Rosie of Cereal. And if you enjoy seeing kawaii content, then please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already, and be sure to turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. Today I want to talk to you about shelves. Bookshelves, bookcases, floating shelves, cubbies. They're great for storage and displaying your collectibles or even just decor. Most of the time they end up doing both, and sometimes they don't look so great. They are either too perfectly symmetrical, which can end up looking sterile and lifeless, or they're just too packed with stuff and end up looking cluttered, which can end up being an eyesore. Well, today I want to share some ways that you can level up your bookcases, bookshelves, cubbies to give your room that boost of visual appeal. This is going to be a short and quick video, so pay attention. Tip number one, give it some color. So obviously painting your bookshelves or bookcases would be the fastest way to change the entire feel. But if that seems a little bit tedious or it's just not an option for you, then I have something you can do. You can use wallpaper, wrapping paper, adhesive decals, or even fabrics, and stick it to the back of your bookcases and bookshelves for a pop of color or pattern. If you don't want to commit to a color or you kind of want to play around with your options, you can cut out some cardboard or poster board in the exact size of the backing of your bookshelf or bookcase, and then stick the wallpaper or adhesive decal or what have you to that instead. This will allow you to change up your bookcases or bookshelves on a whim, or whenever you want to match a mood. For example, spooky season or Christmas season. If you follow a specific color scheme, you can do each shelf a different color and then place items of that same color on it for an interesting look. The next tip is all about arranging your books. Okay, so what most people store on books is bookshelves, duh. But here are some fun ways of arranging your books to give it a little more visual interest. For small spaces like cubbies or narrow bookshelves, Try stacking your books with some laying horizontally and some standing vertically. This is going to create a really interesting visual pattern that works especially well with books of the same size, such as manga collections. You can even incorporate other elements like plushies or collectibles from the same series to really showcase your collection. You could even incorporate larger items that can act as bookends, keeping your books in place. If you have large books that don't really seem to fit anywhere else, there's two things you can do. One, you can stand them up facing forward, making it the centerpiece of your shelf and incorporating elements to work around that. Or you can use it as a base and stack your books on top of it. Tip number three, arrange by weight. This might already be obvious to you, but you want to put the heaviest items on the bottom of your bookcases and cubbies. Let's be honest, most of our furniture is affordable, which means it's not the best quality. And they're very likely to topple over if you don't incorporate the weight evenly. So rule of thumb is to always put your heaviest things on the bottom so your bookcases don't topple over. Even for floating bookshelves, I would still recommend putting heavier items closer to the ground. Just in case they were ever to fall, it's less likely you're gonna have an accident or break something valuable. Now let's say that you have something at the bottom of your bookshelf that's not exactly visually pleasing. There is something you can do. You can cover this up with a curtain. That's right, these short panels are excellent for hiding those ugly things you might have at the bottom of your bookshelves. They do make these really simple rods that when you rotate them, they get bigger or smaller. I use these to cover up the not so pretty things that are at the bottom of my bookcases making it overall more aesthetically pleasing. Tip number four is all about giving it flow. Okay, so here's a tip on how to arrange any items on any type of shelf. This does look especially good on longer floating bookshelves. You want to take items of varying sizes and arrange them from edge to edge. Then on the second shelf, you want to group items together, leaving a gap in the middle. This will give your decor a sense of intention rather than looking like a bunch of random stuff put together. If you have items that have absolutely nothing in common and you want to add a little harmony to them, you can do this by incorporating texture. So this could be anything with a tangible texture, such as something knitted, or it could be some sort of pottery, and you want to scatter them around so that the entirety of the bookshelf or bookcase looks more balanced. You could also add some more life to your shelves by adding literal life, such as plants. And the last tip, tip number five. Before you go out and buy specific things for your shelves, try using what you have. 
So I'm sure you have a lot of items that are kind of sad and forgotten in places that are not being appreciated, like storage boxes or under your bed. Consider using these items if you're at a loss for ideas or need some space fillers. One really good thing you can use as a space filler is something that is framed. You can literally frame anything and it's gonna look great. You can frame cute shopping bags that you've held onto, old calendars with really nice graphics, or even an old t-shirt. You can frame these items and display them on your shelves like they're a piece of art. Try giving your old items a new life by repurposing them. It'll save you lots of time, money, and help to lessen your clutter. And there you have it, five quick tips to leveling up your mundane or perfectly symmetrical looking bookshelves, bookcases, cubbies that you might have been thinking of redoing. If you want to see more room tips, please check out my other videos here on YouTube. I do a lot of kawaii room content, so be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Also check me out on Instagram where I post a lot about Sanrio and my kawaii room. My name is Rosie, this is my channel, Rosio Serial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.